hey makers this is thruveen and from today every week i am going to talk about ai and copilot related use cases today's use case is very unique today we are going to talk about how you can create your own resume with the microsoft word copilot so let's see how we can write up that prompt in the microsoft word directly so without further delay let's get started but if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me so here i am on my machine and here you can see that i have opened microsoft word in microsoft word if you have purchased copilot license then you can able to see draft with copilot option over here simply you can click on this option so it will provide you the prompt window where you can write your own prompt for the copilot now here i want to generate some sort of resume for myself so the basic principle of ai prompt is first we need to provide the context to our ai that what kind of resume it wanted to generate so let's say for an example i am working as a power platform and ai practice lead in one of the organization and i am in this it industry since last 10 long years now i will provide a prompt like this what to for whom you want to create this particular resume in which industry you are working on in which technology area you are having your expertise and how you started your journey you just provide some sort of prompt over here and it will create a resume summary for you so let's try it out so over here in this window i am just pro providing this kind of prompt for me so the prompt looks like this Please create a one page resume profile for Dhruvin Shah who is working as power platform and AI practice lead. Dhruvin has experience in IT industry from last 10 years having experience in various technologies like Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, SharePoint and M365. He started his career as .net developer in 2015 and gradually moved to SharePoint and M365. Then he started his journey as low code developer with Power BI and then Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent and much more. Right now he is more focusing on AI. Okay? So here we are just providing this natural language prompt. Now let's click on generate option over here. Once you click on generate it will start drafting the resume profile for you. So let's wait for few more seconds. So you can see that it has started creating the content for you. That power platform and pay a practice lead. This is the designation. It started generated this contact information summary, skill, work experience. Let's wait for few more minutes. And once it generate this content, it will provide you an option that you want to keep this content or you want to regenerate this content or you want to simply delete this. So let's just keep it as is. So I'm clicking on keep it, and here it is. My final file looks like. Okay, so it has created this resume profile for me, where you can see that this is the designation, this is the contact information, this is whole summary it created depending on the prompt I have provided over here. Apart from that, it is providing me the different skill set options over here. That what kind of skills do I have? What kind of work experience I have? It's all dummy work experience, but it just provide you the draft content ready. So whenever you are sending the resume profile for yourself, you can simply uh, change. it over here and you can add the different stuff over here okay now let's say for an example in between this you want to add some sort of more content related the healthcare domain projects so you can just provide a prompt that please add healthcare domain project with power bi and simply clicking on generate so what it will do is it will start drafting some power bi and health related projects and start adding it over here so let's wait for few more seconds and you can see that it has added some sort of content over here you can keep it up or if you want to regenerate i'm just simply regenerating it so it will start regenerating that content for me over here see it just regenerated some content over here and add it over here let's keep it as is uh, if you just want to tweak a little bit you can do it over here it has also added educational information certification information publication information okay so if you do not need certain sections of your word document you can simply remove it and just keep it as is okay so this is how with simple one type of prompt we generated this resume profile for us also tell me in the comment section which low code ai use case you want to see in my next video tell me your use case in the comment section 
If you find this video helpful, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. Looking for any training or paid consultation? The website link is available on the channel cover homepage. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.